Hello everybody, in a previous requested video, I was showing how we can orientate an object onto a slope or slanted surface and you can find the video by clicking on the label over here. In this video, I want to show how we can achieve the same result using a different process. Okay, let's start. Let me delete this and turn this to the shaded mode. Okay, the first thing that we need to do is to establish the center, the new center on the surface that the object will be oriented onto. And we can do so by tapping at the command prompt, offset curve on surface, press enter, and select the curve on the surface. So I'm going to click on this and then select the edge that's corresponding to the surface that the object will be oriented onto okay which is indicated by the white arrows okay so it's um this extrusion edge over here and let's give an offset distance of six okay and then we need to repeat the same process but this time round we have to offset this edge at a distance of six units onto this surface and if you cannot remember the command we can always go to the curves tools toolbar and click on this icon over here okay select curve on surface so this is the curve make sure that we are selecting the correct extrusion edge that is corresponding to the surface where the object will be oriented onto which is this extrusion edge as indicated by the white arrows okay and let's give a value of six again for the offset distance okay so now we have established the new center which is the intersection of these two curves okay and now we need to orientate this onto this surface and we can do so by using the orient three point command okay orient three point command is this one over here okay and when prompted to select the object to orient uh, this is the object okay gonna press the enter and now Rhino prompts me for the first reference point and my first reference point is the center of its base which I can do so by going to the object snap and enable the center and hover close to the edge to establish the first reference point which is the center of the base okay and now Rhino asked me for reference point 2 or the second reference point so by pressing and holding the shift key to turn on the autographic mode I'm going to establish the second reference point which can be anywhere along here okay so I'm going to click on this and now Rhino prompts me for the third reference point or reference point 3 I'm going to press and hold the shift key to establish the autographic the auto mode again and then click anywhere along here okay and now I know will prompt me for the first target point or target point one so using the relevant objects net in this case here objects net intersect let's hover the object onto the the intersection area of these two curves which is here and then click on it to establish the first target point now Rhino prompt us for the second target point or target point two and we need to turn on the object snap the, the near and then move anywhere along here which corresponds to our second reference point its location with respect to the target point two okay so I'm gonna click on this and now it promised for target point three which is along here which corresponds to our reference point three that is um being placed onto this surface as target point three so I'm going to click on anywhere along here using the object snap the near click down and yep 
we have um, oriented the object onto this slope surface okay and then with that I come to the end of this demo hope that's been useful see you bye